hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of b if we have b square plus b divided by b is equals to 9 then we solve this problem for all the values of b so here first we need to find all the roots of this equation uh, and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution or which of the roots are extraneous root but there we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards our first method and in the first method you see here this b is divided by left hand side uh, so we need to move it into the right hand side so when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by this 9 and after moving this to the right hand side it will be written as b square plus b is equals to 9b and further in the next step uh, you see here both of these terms involve b so we need to move this 9b to the left hand side uh, and it will be written as b square plus b you see here this is 9b when we move it into the left hand side it will become here minus 9b and this whole equation is equal to 0 and further in the next step uh, here we need to add or subtract the like terms and you see that we have these two are like terms so uh, uh, here we need to subtract the coefficients of these two terms uh, and here when we subtract uh, the coefficient of this b and with this b it will becomes here minus 8 times of b and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step you see here both of these two terms involve b so that we will take common b from here and when we take common b we get the remaining values are from here we get b and from here we get 8 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further uh, we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write b is equals to 0 and the second case is we write b minus 8 is equals to 0 so this is the our first root of the given equation and in the next step we need to find other roots so for other roots uh, we move this minus 8 to the right hand side and we get the value of b is equals to plus 8 so this is the second root of the given equation it means that uh, from this method we will get here there are two roots of the given equation and in the next step uh, we need to verify that is these roots of given equation are solution of a given equation or uh, if these roots are extraneous root so for verification of the roots uh, we need to copy down given question statement here and it is b square plus b divided by b is equals to 9 this is our given question statement and in this side we will be verify b is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify b is equals to 8 so here uh, in order to verification of b is equals to 0 we put b is equals to 0 into the left hand side of this equation so uh, after substituting this value into the left hand side it will be written as 0 square plus 0 divided by 0 is equals to 9 and now here first we need to focus on this case so here 0 squared becomes 0 plus 0 divided by 0 is equals to 9 and uh, this will be written as 0 over 0 equals to 9 so this this means that uh, we have the left hand side is 0 over 0 form uh, so in other words we just say that 0 over 0 form is usually called that it is the indeterminate form so if our left hand side is indeterminate form or in other words we say that it is undefined form so here uh, if our left hand side is undefined it means that both of the sides are not equal and if both of the sides are not equal uh, so we conclude about that k b equals to uh, 0 uh, is not the solution and b is equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay so b equals to 0 be the extraneous root 
and now here uh, we need to verify the second root of this equation so here our second root is b equals to 8 and now we need to substitute b equals to 8 into the left hand side and when we put it here it will become 8 square plus 8 divided by 8 is equals to 9 this is the our uh, uh, substitution of b and now you see here 8 square becomes 64 plus 8 divided by 8 is equals to 9 or not this is the our claim and now you see here uh, 64 plus 8 becomes here 72 divided by 8 is equals to 9 or not this is the our verification and further uh, we need to cancellation of these terms and when we uh, read the table of 8 it will become here 8 9 is 72 and you easily see here 9 is equals to 9 so this shows that both of the sides are equal uh, so it means that the value of b is equals to 8 is satisfied over given question statement so we finally conclude about the solution set of this question is that we have only one solution of this question and this is b is equals to 8 so this is the only one solution which we get here from first method and now here we need to again solve this problem for second method and in second method uh, we need to copy down given question statement here so that uh, our uh, given question statement is uh, b square plus b divided by b is equals to 9 this is the our given question statement and here uh, uh, we uh, I can just give you an other techniques in which you can easily get the roots of this equation so here in this method we just break this fraction and we write this b separately on both of these values and it will be written as uh, b square divided by b plus this is b divided by b is equals to 9 and now you see here this b is cancelled out by this b and we get here b only and plus from here this b is also cancelled out by this b and we will get here plus 1 is equals to 9 and further in the next step we need to move this plus 1 to the right hand side and it will become here b is equals to 9 minus 1 and we easily get b equals to 9 minus 1 becomes here 8 so it means that in the second method we get here only one root of the given equation and that is b is equals to 8 and further you see here in the first method we verify that uh, b equals to 8 is satisfied our given question statement uh, so we finally conclude about the solution set of this question in second method is also b equals to 8 and you see here both of these two methods gives us the same solution set so this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos